What's up, guys? It is Jay Beebs here, and welcome to the first episode of the Longford Town FC Career Mode series. If you guys have been paying attention to anything about my channel recently, you know I've been trying to go through and beat every single league on FIFA 22. And now, this series I'm taking a stop over in Ireland, I'm going to be using Longford Town. Longford Town's the board expectations aren't that great. I mean, they do have critical financial and domestic success which is personally my least favorite combination. Uh, I really prefer for either financial or domestic success to be high, the other one to be low. Just me personally, because I think it's easier just to kind of focus on one thing. But we'll have to do some uh, interesting money management. But I'm going to college for business, so I should be able to do this. So Rob Manley has been sold. He'll be joining fellow Irish side Shamrock Rovers for $260,000. Dean Byrne will be joining another fellow Irish side, Drogheda United, for $260,000. And of course, especially with how low the quality is in this league, Youth Academy is going to be the main way that I bring in all these players and honestly, probably the best chance we have of building a winning squad. So I'm sending a four-star, two-star scout in Ireland for three months. I'm also sending a two-star, three-star scout over to my home country, the United States. And a final two-star, two-star scout to Australia. So joining the team from the Youth Academy, a preloaded Youth Academy player is Hiroki Kuroki, Japanese right midfielder, pretty pacey, good dribbler, good passer, working on that shooting a little bit, six feet tall, so hopefully it could be good for us. Shane Crooks is also joining the first team, P pacey, good dribbler. Isaac Thorne will be joining to purely be a backup. However, Salim Bencini, the Turkish goalkeeper, could actually end up being a starter for us one day, or maybe even now. Uh, have development plan on him because that positioning is extremely low at 38, so we'll have to definitely change that up, but hopefully once that stack gets high enough, he should be easily starting for us. Ross McDermott is also joining the first team, switching him to striker, and he could actually be a good starter for us. Tommy Cooney is also joining to be a backup. Same for Martin Diamond, Cameron Barnes, Paul Grogan, and Stephen Williams. But we got our very first game of the season. We are hosting Derry City at Bishop's Gate. And we are playing a 4-4-2 holding. We got Stacey in goal, mainly O'Driscoll, center backs, Elworthy, Kirk, outside backs, Nugent, Derwin, defensive mids, Kuroki, Crooks on the wings, and Davis and Williams are the men up top. Here is the game. Is underway. And dispossessed. Well, they are to intercept. Progress with the ball at his feet. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And it's a great finish. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure, and finds the back of the net. It's a marvellous goal. Finally, the moment arrives for the 18-year-old. We wondered when his chance would come to play from the start. That chance arrives today, Stuart. Well, it does, and there's been a lot of noise about this lad for quite a while now. Today, we'll get a chance to see why. Let's hope he has a great debut. And teammates to play it to. Fluency of movement. Oh, great attacking play. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation.
Thompson. Park it. Will they get themselves level here? Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. So a corner here. Fancy a short one. It's Gerald cutting infield here. Now a decent position and an astute piece of defending. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress, but ultimately up a cul de sac. Now with Walsh and Malone on the ball. It's a quality pass. Just the clearance that was called for. The inside route looking promising. While still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, as you can see, what an excellent back heel this is to set up the goal. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So back underway. One goal apiece here. certainly wasn't a clean tackle and the referee has got to book him I think and yellow it is a booking yeah he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card Went in strongly, decisively. Oh, a lovely ball. And nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. And now the delivery. And still dangerous. No stopping him. Crossing possibilities. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really good bit of play. Watch how he turns his marker and then has the composure to finish. That's a top-class goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Thompson and Walsh Harkin
Well, the hosts, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Must be! Oh, back of the net! And a debut goal to boot! It doesn't get much better than that. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Thompson and he's won the ball and he's made headway oh and it goes now he has his hat trick a special moment for him the weight of the through ball is key to this goal and his movement's so clever once he gets onto it there's only one thought in his head smash it as hard as possible what a good goal blistering first half display and just look at that score No foul play, says the referee. Chopping fast, really. Oh, showing excellent vision. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? And played short. Kirk. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. Three minutes of added time. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, a bit of an unforced error, and it's going to be a throw. And back with Williams. Still could be dangerous. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's making... Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet.
teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Kirk. Nugent. Davis. Showing a lot of guile there. And he saw the situation developing. Voice. It's Gerald. And the counter looks on here. Options available. And does well to keep it in play. Now, what can they do from here? Good defending. Nugent. Davis with it. Again. He tries to run out with the ball, he has the ball taken off of him, he's made the wrong decision, and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. The ball rolling again at what has been an utterly one-sided match. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. And he's in. And just making the run a bit too early. Offside as a result. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Could be troublesome. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Kirk. Could be dangerous. And a really good diving stop. Played over. Goalkeeper's ball. It was always going to be that way. Continues his run. It needs an accurate cross. Well, that pass easy on the eye. Now, will they do it from here? Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. 20 minutes to go in this one. And McLaughlin with it. Re 
regain possession. Getting forward. Opportunity it is. And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Thompson. Parkett. McLaughlin. Untidy on the ball. Thompson committed challenge making progress can he make it count and that goes down as an effort that he's not going to be remembering fondly The seconds are ticking away, and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing, and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been oh, a... Oh, Stuart, they've got to score! Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Gerald, McLaughlin, Parkin, and Malone on the ball. Well, goal kick just as it was looking promising. decided to add on three additional minutes. Can he take the chance? And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Now, potential danger. And there it is, the final... Okay, so if Derry City is a representat representative of the rest of the season, this will be the shortest series I've ever done because 8-1 to victory to open the season, that's quite good. Dylan Grimes has been sold to R Romanian side F FCU Cryova for 290000 Salim Bencini will be going on a short loan move to Fleetwood Town over in EFL League One once the transfer window opens, so hopefully... Once he comes back, he can be a starter for us next season. Paul Groban will be going on a short loan move to Finn Harps. Ross McDermott will be going on a short loan move to ATK Muhu, Mohun Bagan over in India, I believe. And we got another game in the league. We are hosting Waterford this time again at Bishop's Gate. But we are currently the worst defensive team in the league. We have conceded the most goals. This is, uh, this is not a good sign of things. 
The lineup is the same, I believe. Actually, no, McDermott is in at striker. Other than that, everything is the same. Here's the gameplay. And this confrontation is underway. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. And do they mean business on this occasion? Murphy. And reading it absolutely superbly. Big chance. And at the second time of asking, it's a goal. The keeper, meanwhile, looks to the heavens. Well, here's the replay. Yes, it's a decent shot, but the goalkeeper has to do a lot better there. He's parried it out into a dangerous area, and suddenly the ball's in the back of his net. It's poor goalkeeping, you have to say. opening goal proved to be Nugent that is a wonderful challenge and they've kept the ball to boot can they create something from here fruitful looking attack they were playing fluent football but then the foul and now you would anticipate a yellow card well deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there. Not the best free kick we'll see today. Well off target. Well, not really what he was looking for there. That's a waste of a good situation. Well, making high pressing work for them here. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Dangerous-looking attack. This could be the equaliser, and it is the equaliser! Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So the ball is rolling again at one all.
terrific pass. That ball was put into the right area, but no one able to capitalise. It is to be a throw-in. Nugent. And take it away. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. And out for a throw-in, just misfiring with the pass. Not a good pass. Good play it in. Nolan. But if you make your move too early, you're always in danger of being ruled offside. Uh, what can they produce on the flank? Well, they're certainly getting closer. You just sense that the goal is coming. They're playing so well at the moment. Oh, Stuart, they must score! Read it well. And space to exploit, maybe. The keeper will happily collect that one. Murphy. Martin. This looks interesting. He's going forward well here. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Not the best clearance. And I think the threat has been averted. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. A bit of running room now on the wing. Dangerous ball. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Oh, a nice looking pass. I don't think he'll be proud of that challenge. And it's left to the referee to decide what happens next. And he's been dismissed. This will be a real test of their defensive resilience. Well, he had to go, didn't he? They'll need to reshape their defence quickly here. Griffin. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. But how well he did to react in that manner. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Disappointing pass. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in the... Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Went in strongly, decisively. Going well. Decent position. Body in the way. Good vision. Can he get onto this? And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity.
Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Well, they saw red earlier, and now they're seeing yellow, Stuart. Well, it's no good keep fouling. They have to show more discipline here. They've completely lost their composure. to the box just the clearance that was called for making progress he'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge could be a chance to break here Martin Griffin read it well Could be troublesome. Oh, great block. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. Substitution time it is. Over it comes. And the problem not completely solved. And a time for cool heads. This is not ideal for him. He was booked earlier. And his race is run. Yeah, he just lost his discipline there. That's a really poor challenge. He should have been taken off much earlier. Thirty minutes to go then. Well, they might be onto something. Oh, so close to opening up the defence. Griffin. Promising sequence. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And breaking at pace with Menace. It's a weighted pass. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. And he's fired over the corner, and he's clear his lines. Good-looking sequence. And let's give credit to the defending. And it's a quality pass. And no nonsense defensive clearance. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Well, any goalkeeper would be disappointed if he didn't save that. all his defensive acumen to cut it out can they hit on the break will they profit from this situation in with a chance well the keeper was called upon and delivered well he's so good in those 1v1 moments and he's proved it yet again Who can he pick out? Threat over for now, it seems. Oh, showing excellent vision. Well, the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. The 
possession lost. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium, but can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. And they need to get tighter here. Davis. It's a good looking ball in behind. Well, he has done well there, but he should have won the game. They probably won't get another chance now. And they will make the change now. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, that's clear. Dangerous looking attack. And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, as the replay shows us, this is the way to beat tight marking. Just look how he turns with the ball. That's a fantastic goal, you have to say. A dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider and here they come still pressing for an equalizer good looking cross a glorious opportunity it was and that could loom large well that should have put them level that could be it for them today up all the stoppages we will have three extra minutes can he finish them off excellent save well you're absolutely right it's a top quality save but they're running out of time here can someone get on the end of this well the header was respectable but the goalkeeper always seemed to have it covered under pressure here maneuver on the wing under pressure doesn't seem to be bothering him and there it is the final whistle so we were able to get another good well-deserved win two to one had more expected goals honestly it could have been more but can't complain when you're winning joe gorman has been sold he'll be joining efl league two side leighton orient so in the league we are currently tied for bottom but we are ahead ahead thanks to goal difference of negative one so uh, we definitely will not be winning the league this year but guys that is going to wrap up today's episode of the longford town fc crew mode series i mean disappointing probably should have done more could have done more uh i wish the team would play as good as they do whenever i play with them but you know we still have to build a squad it's quite evident but we'll just have to see how things go next episode if you're new subscribe hope you enjoyed and it is jbeebs signing off